Hello everyone. When I was building my original aquaponics garden, I also built this smaller version, portable version, for my in-laws. And I've just showed a picture of it in my last videos, but I haven't actually showed how it was put together and, and how it's working and how it's been working. So I'm putting this video together to give you an idea of how I built it, also how it works and how it's configured right now. I used one inch square tubing, which later for the bottom of the box, I should have used a one by two inch. Later in this video, I show a, a drawing and it will have the corrected sizes and dimensions on it. Um, I used some plastic 55 gallon drums. Again, what I should have done is use two, one for the top and one for the bottom. The top one's the one that holds the fish, and the bottom is the one that is the sump where the pump goes and also when the system cycles through the bell siphon, it, it empties into that tank. I used some nuts that were welded up into this one inch tubing, and that's how I adjust the feet to make sure this thing is level when it's installed. And then I used a small pump in the bottom and two timers. The timers I used were to control the pump and also to control the air pump. Now this right here is the filter. This is in the back of the drum, of the 55 gallon drum, and it's connected in two places. And what happens is as the water empties the fish tank and then overflows into the planting bed, there's a valve at the bottom of it and you can open that and that's where all the solids, this is the valve right here, that's where all the solids will drain out and you can drain that every so often to drain the solids out of the system. This is when it was first installed and it hadn't been modified and you can see that the 55 gallon drum is on top, I used the 30 gallon on the bottom but again that should really be a 55 gallon drum. And I ended up putting a roof on it to help with the sun. They live in, a, in a, a lot hotter area than I do and they're able to use tilapia and this is the tilapia in the top tank. And this is the return to the bottom sump tank. Now what they ended up doing later, since that should have been a 55 gallon drum, is we ended up installing a concrete uh, tube on its side and we made a bigger uh, pond for the fish so we could keep more fish. So right now the system works exactly the same way except we just have a, a larger tank and their tilapia are almost ready to, uh, to harvest. So this works good for them. Uh, it's the same pump. It just pumps now up to the top tank. Now what we use the top tank for is it's still the overflow tank, but we use that for a smaller fish and we're able to separate the fish. This is the garden as it is now, as of um, March 2015. And she grows peppers, lettuce, um, what else, celery, and a few other items there that work pretty good. The overflow flows into this top tube and then that water comes down, runs back through the other tube here, and then it empties into the bed. And then the bed works with a um, bell siphon, and when it gets full, it will cycle the bell siphon and then run back into the pond, through this bottom tube. That's where it exits right here. Here's the bell siphon. This is the filter, and uh, that's where it empties out of the tank. Here's the smaller fish in the top tank, and what we do is we scoop out the, the babies when they have the babies in the larger tank, and we put them up here and keep them separated. And here's the water coming in from the pump. And this is the constant height. What happens is the water fills up to this line, overflows, and then that's how it goes into the bed, starts into the first tube. 
This is a uh, overview I did, a PowerPoint overview of the system, the different components, and how it works. And you can stop the video and read it if you want. Uh, take your time and, and check it out. This is a quick drawing that I put together with some of the measurements on there showing the 255 gallon drums and pretty much how it should be built. So I uh, hope this helps you guys out. Any questions please leave a comment and thanks for watching.